first thing I wanted to do was to thank Beat, Andrew, Chris, all of you for the campaigning you're doing on eating disorders. It, it's very, very important. And also, when your life has been turned upside down by something absolutely horrible happening to you or someone in your family, um, the, the easiest thing to do is to try and close the chapter and move on. And you've actually chosen to do something different, which is to try and change things for the better. And that takes a lot of courage and commitment. And in many ways also means that you have to relive some of the sadness that you may have had to have gone through in the past and indeed may still be going through. So it's an incredibly brave and important thing to do. Um, and it's important for people in the government to hear it, but it's also important for people in wider society to hear it because there is still a limited understanding of um, eating disorders and indeed what we can do to deal with eating disorders, particularly, as Chris says, if we intervene earlier. Um, I think the picture is we know this is an absolutely horrible thing to happen. Um, it snatches people's lives away from them. Uh, we are in the middle of a big revolution in terms of our understanding of how improved mental health treatment can make a real difference. Uh, when I was growing up, very often people thought that all mental health conditions were basically incurable. And that has now changed. And we know that you can have very high success rates um, if you <coughs> get in quickly. Um, but eating disorders in particular have some of the highest mortality rates, tragically, of all uh, mental health conditions. And um, they also affect young people in the prime of their life. And I think all of us would want to do everything we can to help people lead a life full of, of opportunities and potential. And um, the problem with eating disorders stops that happening in its tracks. A lot is happening inside government to try and turn things around. In 2014, £150 million pounds was allocated in the budget, £30 million pounds a year uh, between now and 2020. Um, and we, on the back of that, have done a number of things. We are setting up 67 community eating disorder teams across the country. Uh, the intention is to do exactly what Chris says, which is to make sure that we raise awareness uh, amongst GPs, amongst the public, amongst the NHS professionals. Um, at the moment, it isn't just the speed of intervention, but actually the quality of intervention is very patchy as well. You get some people who uh, get early referral to a specialist and get fantastic care, but I'm afraid you also do, do hear stories of people who get referred to care that isn't up to scratch. And so, those are also things we're looking at. I think most importantly, we are, I think, in the first country in Europe, possibly even the first in the world, to have a waiting time standard for people with eating disorders. Uh, the one week and the four weeks now is one week for urgent, four week uh, for more routine, um, where nothing is really routine when you're dealing with uh, the horrors of eating disorders. So there are some important things happening. Uh, final point I would make is, um, this isn't just about children and young people, it affects adults as well. And NICE are coming out with a, uh, a standard later this year, I think in the summer, which will apply to adults as well. And it's important that we remember this can affect absolutely everyone. It's completely blind to age, class, sex, all these things. And so that's why uh, we need that NICE standard. And the final point I would say is that, you know, for me, I think this is also making progress on this is about the kind of society we want to live in and I think all of us want to live in a society where everyone, whoever you are, can reach their full potential and what happens with eating disorders is still a lot of it isn't understood but it is completely random, it snatches people's futures away from them and I think we all have a duty to do everything we can to change it. So I know you'll be holding me to account for all the promises that uh, we've made um, and you know that is as it should be, but I also want to reassure you that we are absolutely committed to making solid progress in this area over the next few years uh, and hopefully uh, avoiding uh, so many of the tragedies that we know happen.